Hey, this is Pastor Kevin Sepulveda with a message for New Life Baptist Church, Sunshine Coast and Blessed Hope Baptist Church, Sydney. I've had some further discussions and I also gave a call to the local government office here in Caloundra just to clarify the restrictions that are on churches. What I found out today is, is that churches are completely cancelled. You know, the, the word that's been used is banned, you know, and um, I had misunderstood. This came into effect Sunday night or Monday morning, you know, midnight. And this was from the announcement that the Prime Minister gave on Sunday night. Now, when I go to the website australia.gov.au, when you look at the restrictions for places of social gathering, under religious gatherings, places of worship or funerals, it then has in brackets, in enclosed spaces and other than very small groups and where the one person per four square meter rule applies. And so I had understood that we could go ahead with our religious gatherings as long as we complied with the very small groups and where one person per four square meter rule applies. I thought if we did that, we could go ahead with church. Uh, but what was clarified to me is that churches are banned because it's a public gathering. And, you know, they believe that we won't be able to control how many people turn up to a public gathering. So we wouldn't necessarily be able to comply with that rule. And the reason this is here, it's actually written for funerals alone because funerals are a, you know, for private invitation, it's a private invitation. And so that was my misunderstanding. Now it is very vague, you know, you can't blame me. I did the best I could, you know, to keep the doors open for church. But unfortunately this means that we won't be having church services up here on the Sunshine Coast either. Um, so the plan moving forward, I'm going to continue preaching three sermons a week. Um, I'm going to do them before our official church times and get them onto YouTube so you can listen to them pre-recorded. Now, I know a lot of other pastors and churches are doing live streaming. Um, I, don't, I don't plan on doing live streaming, at least for now. I don't know really what the advantages or disadvantages are either way. Um, the reason I don't want to do live streaming um, is simply because I haven't got the resources here. We haven't got like a wide broadband connection. If we use the internet here in the building, it's, it's, it's Wi-Fi that we use. So when I've looked at some of the other um, live streaming that I've seen on Facebook and things like that, uh, just the, the video quality is not so good. Sometimes you'll, you'll, the, the preaching will be cutting in and out. And sometimes the audio and the video is not in sync. So to maintain the best quality video, you know, I'm just going to preach them beforehand, get them uploaded onto YouTube, schedule them to be released the time, at the time that we would normally have church service here in New Life Baptist Church. So if you want to hear the preaching, it's going to be at the same time that we normally have church, you know, 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. on Sunday and 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. So that is Queensland time. If you're down in Sydney, you've got to add one hour to it because you're in daylight savings for now. Now, I'm going to continue preaching on the series that I've been preaching. I've been, you know, going chapter by chapter on the Bible. I've been going for an end time series. That's my plan to continue doing where I've, you know, left things off. But brethren in either church, if you have any questions, any doctrines, any teachings that you would like me to cover, please send them my way. Please email me, text me. Um, if there are things of interest that you have, questions that you haven't got answered, I'll do my best to go and study that for you and preach a sermon uh, with that in mind. So that'll at least give me some ideas as well as I, you know, it, it, it's going to be a little bit challenging, I guess, preaching without a congregation in front of me. But um, that's what we have to do for now. Um, so brethren, you know, don't get upset, don't get discouraged. You know, try to be positive minded, think about the advantages that you do have. I guess you won't have to travel so much. Um, you'll be spending more time with your family, with your loved ones, that, you know, people that you care about. So I recommend have quality time with them. You know, make sure you have quality time with God as well. You know, bring your prayers and supplications before Him. And, um, you know, I would really encourage fathers, you know, open up the Bible to your families. Teach, you know, your, your wife and children from the Word of God. Um, use this opportunity that you do have. And, yeah, you know, if you have any questions, you can call, call me, um, of course, on 0497 868 329. You can email me. You know, if you're at Blessed Hope Baptist Church, you can email me, contact at blessedhopebaptistchurch.org.au. If you're at New Life Baptist Church, you can email me, contact at newlifebaptistchurch.org.au. All right, brethren, keeping you in prayer. God bless.